A lot of people fought me on China. You hear what that? You hear all that honking? You know what that is? That's trucks. They love their the president. The trucking protesters. They, right? Well, they're not protesters. They're supporters of me. A lot of us are losing our businesses. We cannot afford to pay our next truck payment. We yes. cannot afford our insurance. We're bringing in food. We're bringing in baby formula. We're bringing in medical equipment. And we are being paid less than minimum wage. We need the government to step in. And you hear that outside, that beautiful sound. Those are truckers that are with us all the way. They're protesting in favor of President Trump as opposed to against. There's hundreds of trucks out there. And uh, that's the sign of love, not the sign of your typical protest. So I want to thank our great truckers. They like me and I like them. We're working on something together. Thousands of truck drivers throughout the country hoping to get the White House's attention with a new protest group called Black Smoke Matters. Named after the exhaust smoke that used to come from big rigs. Do you feel like this administration is listening to you as truckers? No, ma'am. No, they're not no, listening, no. not at all. A mix of Republicans, Democrats, and independents. Well, they're not protesters, they're supporters of me because we're getting things for the truckers and all those great truckers that are all over the country. They want the economy And they're hunky, open. and they're, they're really very thankful that I'm president, frankly. So when I hear the horns, <laughs> there's a thousand trucks outside. It's great. How many of you voted for the president in the last election? One, two, three. Many of their complaints are unique to trucking, like parking costs and a lack of training for new drivers. You'll receive. But they say some of their issues affect all Americans, like the Republican-led tax bill. How many of you, by a show of hands, saw your taxes increase this year? Oh, they all went up, yeah. One, two. Yeah, this year they went one, up. One, two. Yeah. All of you? So most of you saw your taxes increase. The reason? Something called a per diem. In the past, truckers could deduct things like food and daily expenses from their taxable income. Now, with Trump's new tax bill, they no longer can. I have a young family at home, and with our per diem, they took the per diem out. That made an $8,000 difference. $8,000? What I personally paid. So what were you paying in taxes last year? Nothing. A hit that comes especially hard after promises made by the president. America first means putting American truckers first. You said you also believe the president would help truckers. Do you think he's doing a good job now? No, I don't. I mean, he, there's nothing that he's doing to, to, to help us out out here in any way possible. I mean, none. Thank God for truckers. Mr. Trump ran on the platform of doing away with the Obama bad regulation. Well, he quite well done that for, I'm going to say corporate America, but us blue collar America, We've got regulations that we had when Obama was in office. And I would like to ask him, why didn't he do away with the bad regulations for us, the independent owner operator? A trend they say should be concerning for everyone. Have you all ever thought about quitting? Yes, yes. every day. Every day. We want the American dream. We want to be part of having to be able to strive to do better, to take care of our families and do a good a good job for the American people. The American dream is getting further away. It's it really becoming is. unattainable. 